Hello everyone, welcome to the Geo Ecologist. I am Dr. Krishnanand and in today's session we are going to talk about introduction to geographical thought. So what is geographical thought? It is basically the making of the discipline of geography, the subject of geography. How did it evolve through ages? It's the entire story behind it. So in the new lecture series that we are going to do about evolution of geographical thought, we are going to learn about all those factors, all those important events that took place, all those important scholars who contributed to this wonderful discipline of geography. So today in the introductory session, we are going to learn about the basics about the approaches that how we can understand this evolution in what ways we can understand. So today is the introductory session and after this we will be making more videos on the entire process right from the ancient to the present scenario. So please like and subscribe to our channel so that whenever we upload another video you can access to it. So we are going to start this series right from today. So we are going to learn about the making of this particular subject called geography. So basically in the introduction to geographical thought, we need to understand about the story. So what is the story behind the formation of this important subject that we study today that we know by the name of geography. So we are going to learn about this particular phenomena that is the story of making of this discipline of geography. How did it come to our system? So basically, when we talk about system, we talk about university system, isn't it? So how did this subject become valid for university people? Why did professors teach this subject? And how did it occur to them that there could be a syllabus that could be taught to students in general, like other disciplines? So these are these things that we need to understand and will be coming with several lectures in this series where we'll discover that why this particular concept is being taught in our syllabus. What is their beginning point? What is the origin? What is the source of this concept? So these are going to be the key factors. But how do we do it? Let's understand. So the first concept that we need to understand is the inquisitiveness. So what is it? It's basically talking about a question, isn't it? Everything starts with a question mark. So if we have inquisitiveness within us, that means we are inquisitive about learning something, about knowledge, isn't it? So knowledge is something that we seek every time, every day. We need more and more information that we gather and accumulate as our knowledge. So that comes through inquisitiveness, which is the first primary part of evolution of any discipline. Then what happens? Then there are two important things. What are those two things? Percept and concept. So what is a percept and what is a concept? Let's understand. Percept is the first thing that occurs to us through our senses. Okay, that's what we call as perception, isn't it? So the perceptions keep happening every day through our senses. So it is about our basic sense, isn't it? And then gradually using that percept, we derive this particular concept that we make. So everything is related to this percept and concept. That's how knowledge that we say, okay? That's how the know-how that we say has been made. So percept and concept is the framework that is to be understood while understanding the discipline evolution. That is the evolution of geographical thought. Then comes something very important that is theory. So how do we understand a making of a theory? Where is it coming from? It's coming from this particular framework that is inquisitiveness giving rise to a sense of particular thing, an object or phenomena and then gradually conceptualizing it and putting it as our theories. So that's how theories are made and then gradually when lots of theories are made, a number of theories are made under same umbrella. So suppose every theory says that earth is flat or every theory says that earth is round. So those number of theories will be covered under the same umbrella and this umbrella is what we know as paradigm. So there will be several theories that will contribute to a singular paradigm. So this is the framework that we need to understand. So what is the framework that we understood right now? The inquisitiveness to percept concept to this particular theory and that's how all those set of theories under a particular umbrella that we understood as a paradigm. So this is going to be our framework, okay? 
So when we say framework, in this particular framework, we are going to study the entire geographical thought, the entire evolution of the geographical thought, the subject making in this particular framework. Now, let's understand about the approaches to this particular study. So what are various approaches? The first approach is the basic approach, that is the timeline approach, the historical approach. Okay. So what came first, then what happened, and then a sequence of events that made the subject. Then there is a second approach, which is geographical in nature. We talk about phenomena happening in a particular location. So suppose we say something happened in Mediterranean, something happened in Europe, something happened in China, something happened in India. So these are locational approaches. These are geographical approaches of the knowledge that we gained and finally made it a subject. So that is a geographical approach and then there is a third approach based on paradigms. So it's paradigmatic approach. So if we look at the concepts that we study in geography under any of these approaches we follow. So then what are we going to do? We are going to combine them. Okay. So our factor in our studies, in our lectures, it's going to be a combination of these three approaches. Why? Because it's important to actually critically evaluate. So let's critically evaluate these approaches of the study, which will tell us the story. So how this subject is made? So how do we come to the story finally? Through the critical evaluation of these concepts. So we will be doing this approach study in a combination of this historical, geographical and paradigmatic approach together in a critical evaluation framework. So what are going to be our further lectures? It's going to be the sequence. So first is pre-existing knowledge, then we talk about ancient, then we talk about medieval through middle ages, we talk about age of discovery, pre-modern phase in geography, then classical, modern and post-modern phase. But how are we going to do it as discussed right from the inquisitiveness to percept, concept, right? And then theory and then paradigm. So our framework is going to be this particular framework. We are going to look at each of them, each of these ages, each of these places in these ages in terms of this particular concept. So our framework is defined in this particular way. So we are going to look at all of these through individual lectures. So that will be coming up with the entire lecture series. So first one is going to be the pre-existing. So what existed before the ancient? If we say that ancient is right from the Greek and Romans. So what was the situation before Greek and Romans? So what happened there? So what contributed to the knowledge in Greek and Romans? We must understand the pre-existing. So pre-existing we begin and then finally we reach the present scenario. That's how we are going to look at this particular making of this subject. So I hope you understand the basic approach about it. But what are we going to answer when we complete this entire series? We are going to answer these questions. The first question that we answer is what is geography all about? So first question that we answer after the entire series is done that you will understand that what geography is all about then. What is science and art in geography? Is it a mixed discipline? Is it an interdisciplinary in nature? Or is it pure science? Or is it an art subject? So why is this a dichotomy in geography? So these things are going to be answered when we complete this series. Then, how it was established as a subject, as a discipline in university system? Earlier, the subject did not exist as a subject as we see today in university. So what is that process that made it a subject? How did it get its validity. That's one thing that we're going to answer. Then, very important question, who is a geographer? Can you define who is a geographer? That is another question that we'll be able to answer after this entire lecture series is done. And finally, the contemporary relevance of the subject. Why is this subject so important for all of us? Even if we are not geographers, even if we are not studying the subject of geography, but every day we practice geography in certain ways. Why is it important for all of us? Why is it important for UPSC? Why is it important for university students? Why is it important for research scholars, for climate scientists? So remember, we will be answering all these particular questions in the particular series that we have planned. So today it was just an approach and introductory session that we have discussed. So now we'll be uploading one by one right from the pre-existing knowledge to the present in the form of eight lectures. So stay tuned. Best wishes. 
So now I hope that you understood about the basics of how to study this subject called evolution of geographical thought. So if you have any more queries, feel free to comment in the box below and I'll be coming up with more lectures on right from the ancient to the present scenario of the evolution of geographical thought in upcoming lectures. So stay tuned, stay safe, all the best.